Since the late 1880s, mountaineers had longed to conquer Mount Everest. The world's highest peak had defeated climbers until on May the 29th, 1953, the year's main event took place. New Zealander Edmund Hillary and Nepali Tenzing Norgay became the first people to set foot on the summit. The ninth British expedition to Everest had been a great success. Following their safe descent, Hillary and Tenzing would be hailed as world heroes and the two men would inspire climbers for generations to come. The first British expedition to Everest was in 1921. It was primarily aimed at mapping and determining whether a route to the summit could be found from the northern side. Included in this expedition was English mountaineer George Mallory. Mallory would also take part in the second and third British expeditions. On the third expedition in June 1924, Mallory and his climbing partner Andrew Irvin attempted to make the first ascent of Mount Everest. It ended in tragedy. The pair were last seen high on the northeast ridge, just a few hundred meters from the summit. In 1951, Edmund Hillary explored the southern face of Everest in a British reconnaissance expedition. A year later, a Swiss expedition, including Sherpa Tenzing Norgay, attempted to climb Everest from the south, but turned back before reaching the summit. Finally, in 1953, Englishman John Hunt received permission to lead the ninth British expedition to Everest. After much preparation, Hunt selected two climbing pairs to attempt to reach the summit. The first team comprised Tom Bordelon and Charles Evans. The second, Hillary and Norgay. Bordelon and Evans set off on May the 26th, 1953. They came within 100 meters of the summit but turned back due to problems with their oxygen equipment and lack of time. On May the 28th, Hillary and Norgay made their bid. They established camp at nearly 28,000 feet, where they spent a bitterly cold night. At four o'clock in the morning, the pair rose and continued climbing upward, until, to their great delight, they realized they were at the summit. It was 11.30 a.m., May the 29th, 1953. Tenzing Norgay and Edmund Hillary had reached the highest point on the surface of the Earth. The pair descended to a hero's welcome. News of the successful expedition traveled quickly and the team was surprised by the acclaim they received when they returned to Kathmandu. More attention followed as the international community learned that Hillary, a one-time beekeeper from New Zealand, Norgay, a Sherpa from the foothills of Everest, had reached the world's highest peak. The news reached Britain on the day of the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II, and the young queen soon knighted both Hillary and Hunt, while the British government honored Norgay with a distinguished George Medal. In the years following the ascent, both Hillary and Norgay devoted much of their lives to the Sherpa people. Hillary established a charity, the Himalayan Trust, which constructed schools, hospitals, bridges, and Buddhist monasteries in the Himalayan region. In January 2008, Sir Edmund Hillary died of heart failure. He was 88 years old. New Zealand Prime Minister Helen Clark described Hillary's passing as a profound loss to the nation. 18 years earlier, Hillary's lifelong friend, Tenzing Norgay had died from a cerebral hemorrhage at 71. Since the two first reached the summit in 1953, many others have climbed Everest. The first people to stand on the world's highest peak, Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay, have earned a hallowed place in history, and their achievement continues to inspire adventurers the world over.